Hey everyone, Dave here and welcome to Stack Overview. We have another creation of Joe Way team on our hands here. It's hard to tell if I'm a fan of that studio overall or not because all of their projects are mainly multiplayer ones where it's hard to make updates on and just make videos in general. Like I suppose it's their goal to bring people together in VR though it's just not my own specific thing. So I wish they would go a little bit out of their comfort zone which essentially she means they should bring the campaign to stride as fast as possible for me. <laughs> so Stack is a multiplayer action game where in an intense match duels you dash and jump through post-apocalyptic world, launching deadly discs at other players and dominate the battlefields in an intense fun scenario. There's definitely a certain routine that the devs take while they make stuff, which is pretty much like an engaging gameplay that requires you to play with other people on the platform. The progression is to unlock some gears and cosmetics for your character and then they're organizing some tournaments or an eSport flair to the game. Am I correct while reading the description? Oh yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, like I'm not sure if it's getting repetitive or they are just doing what seems to be working by the statistics and the performance. It's like every game is some kind of similar between each other. Here you throw like a discs at a distance. Don't they get me wrong, like there are some very cool mechanics going on. And I'm sure it's gonna be fun to play, though it just feels a little bit samey to me. In terms of the actual game, it seems to be very much polished, the environments look great. The throwing mechanics aren't stupid either, because you can curve them while in air and then bounce off the walls. It's gonna be definitely a matter of skill and just knowing your angles to win the matches. Personally, it's just cute, but nowadays I just search something more deeper and that I can make some kind of a connection with the game. Regardless, there's also a time for some dynamic and engaging combat in the arenas. That's what we're expecting today and let's just go have some fun. Welcome to the tutorial. Hold the grip button to pull the disc to your hand. Eh? Louder please. Nice. This disc is your main weapon. You can hit opponents with it in close combat. <laughs> such versatility but I mean that's nice actually awesome. Release the grip button to throw your disc. you can control your disc while it's in air by moving your dominant hand you can also hit target with your recalled disc use the force to control your disc while it's in the air by moving your dominant hand you can also hit the target when you recall your disc yeah, but it only works pre-bounce, like after it bounces then nothing happens, which I guess makes sense. Oh, what the? It's not the standard for mechanics, but... I'll have to get used to it. So what about the recording one? Excellent. Use your shield as a slingshot for your disc. Move your disc to your shield. Hold the trigger with your dominant hand and pull the disc back. Aim and release the trigger to shoot. <laughs> we have now a slink crossbow or something? Oh, that's interesting. I would definitely prefer this way of combat though. Can I twist it in air now? No, it's just like a shot. Protecting is fairly easy as well. I mean, the discs are fast, so... I don't hear her at all. <laughs> Uh, 
I guess if you're like next to a wall and you want to control the disc, then maybe you would opt for that. But the speed that the disc bow <laughs> gives and precision is definitely handy. Um, I mean... Ah, okay. Kind of weird. Because there's an acceleration and then it stops. Good luck, good luck. So, just... Simple as that, straight to the lobby. Hey, no, just because I'm red doesn't mean you have you get to bully me. This is racism, all right? Okay. All right. You want? Okay. Take this oh. box off. Okay. This powers in the name. You get splash damage now. Wherever your thing lands, splash damage. Oh. So we'll have like a hub, just like in another game, I guess. <laughs> Am I gonna be try or something? Oh. Yeah, shield right. We have power ups. It's actually much more dynamic than stride. <laughs> um, Did the match start or not? Like, what's going on? Uh, and the classic Joe way thing to wait for the queue times. Like, that's why I'm not making any updates on multiplayer thing with the stride because I can't wait for like a couple hours to play. Triple shot. Oh my god, my headset almost. <laughs> Get off me! Wait, what the? The round starts in three. Two Immortality. <laughs> oh, the power up stairs. Jesus. Damn. <laughs> hmm. I need to focus, I feel like, on deflecting, because there's a lot going on. There's something with like pulling and releasing because you need to every single time to reset do that so the gameplay kind of gets confusing but there's only one person okay cool <laughs> Yeah, oh, you like, let me test. No, See, I don't want to be done. Okay. See, it's not working. 
Why? You see on here? It says you're a spectator. I'm a spectator. <laughs> wow, <laughs> He's immortal. <laughs> No one can so I guess you can kill us. I just I'll be careful of you. Yeah. <laughs> also, you need to be careful because if you even slightly pull it, then it releases. So, oh my God. <laughs> Wait, what? How oh, my teammate killed me, or is he like that? Neutral? <laughs> it's very dynamic, like... Even for my standards, this is a lot. <laughs> I'm a bitch. <laughs> this is basic boomerang and you can use a slingshot I kinda want to try the close combat because Ow, <laughs> but this is gonna be hard. Oh my god, I'm just fighting one guy. It's clearly a pro at this game. So I'm That's why I'm here, yeah. I mean, the game just released like 10 minutes ago. It's bound to be bugs. But like. Is it released? I played the game though. Yeah. This is released today. Yeah, I don't like this thing that you need to every single time grab the disc for it to return, like... Because it completely throws me off in the gameplay dynamic. It's just not my taste. Like, I would much rather this be only one time used and then they disappear from the map. Now I won. What? I feel like there are some bugs going on. Even the guy that clear was better said so. Like here we go again. Something was wrong. Also, where's the leaderboard? Like I did not catch it at all. This 360 is actually trash. Jesus Christ! What? I mean, ah uh, no, it's not for me. The game is too fast, or maybe I'm getting older. And what you end up doing is just being chaotic and doing things by accident. Or call me trash. Who cares, but that's just like my first impressions. I just get confused with all the pulling, returning the disc and just the... It's not fluid enough for me to be even slightly competitive. Also, apparently I won or something like that, like it was a text written, but clearly not counting my deaths. It's kinda a lot considering this game was on AppLab and it still feels like it. Doesn't even compare to any other Joey title that I've seen. Like this is just kind of thrown in together, even with the UI in the lobby and the box. Yeah, like it's okay.